Hey everyone! In this video, I'll show you four pieces of adaptive equipment you can use to make going to the bathroom a little bit easier. I'll leave a link to each of the items in the description below. If you're new here, welcome to my channel. My name is Elise and I'm an occupational therapist and a certified stroke rehab specialist on a mission to make stroke information simple. All right, let's get into it. I want to start off by telling you about the simplest tool that you can probably get which is a standard pair of kitchen tongs. Now, these are probably going to be best for someone who has some level of grip and manipulation because you do have to hold the tongs together when you've got toilet paper in here while you're reaching back. But if your main limitation is decreased range of motion to actually reach back and get where you need to go, Having tongs can give you essentially some extra arm length, so it may work better for someone who just has a little bit of trouble reaching back. Now, I, I do like these because you can get them at pretty much any store. I got these from the Dollar Tree for a dollar. Um, if you need tongs that are a little bit longer, certain medical equipment suppliers do carry them as well as Amazon. They just may be a little more expensive than the traditional um, kitchen tongs. The second tool that I want to show you today is the Scrubbing Bubbles Toilet Cleaner Wand. Yes, you heard me correctly, a toilet cleaning wand, but hang with me. There are a lot of different reasons of why I like this tool to help you with wiping. First is, because this is meant to be a toilet cleaner, it comes with a stand that you can put it in after you do whatever you need to do. Normally you wouldn't want toilet water or whatever going all across your bathroom, so you put it in the stand. It's great for after wiping yourself too because you don't want that stuff going everywhere. Pop it in your stand, boom bada bing, you're done. The second thing that I like about it is the length of the arm. Because it's meant for cleaning a toilet, it's got a really long arm and a little bit of a curve to it which makes it easier if you're trying to wipe your front or trying to wipe your back. The third thing that I like about it is it's got this kind of locking mechanism in place where normally the toilet cleaning sponge would go, but we actually use this for toilet paper when we're trying to wipe ourselves. So by pushing it out, you get it ready to load. The one thing that I tell people is make sure that you have enough toilet paper loaded in um, because it needs enough toilet paper to grab onto to actually lock and stay in place. So to kind of foolproof this, if you just take your toilet paper, kind of squish it down at the end, you're making quite a big area to squeeze into the clamp. You're gonna lock it in place. And then once you have it in place, it's gonna stay. You just have to make sure there's enough in there. And then when you're done, all you have to do is hit that locking mechanism to kind of undo the clamp. And there you go, it drops right in the toilet. So, great tool. Um, you can find it for around eight to $9 on Amazon, Walmart, Target, pretty much anywhere that's gonna carry cleaning supplies should have the Scrubbing Bubbles toilet wand. The third tool I wanna show you today is a Bottom Buddy. And this one in particular isn't the brand name Bottom Buddy because those run around 40 to $50 uh, US, which I think is a little bit ridiculous. Uh, this one is a generic brand called Fanwer, um, but it's the same concept as the original Bottom Buddy. This one is just around $8 to $10 versus $40 to $50. I like it because it's got a nice ergonomic design, and it also has silicone molding on the end where you put the toilet paper in and where you hold on to it. So it's going to grab on and hold on to the toilet paper, and then it also gives you a nice grip on the end that you're holding. So how this works, you take your toilet paper and you kind of stuff it into the opening at the end. That silicone has a really nice hold to it. So your toilet paper is not gonna come out until you're done with it. Now, this is probably best for someone who has limited reaching ability, decreased range of motion in their arm. Um, and you can still load it up even if you are, um, if you've got one-sided weakness that makes it difficult for you to use both hands at the same time. All you need to do is kind of stick it between your legs and hold it there. And then you can just tuck 
the toilet paper in with one hand. So you do your business, wipe front or back. Um, always wipe front to back though. We want to avoid urinary tract infections. And then when you're done, all you have to do is pop the end and it will release the toilet paper into the toilet. The last tool that I want to tell you about today is a bidet. Now, if you're watching this from outside of the United States, using a bidet may be common practice for you, but if you've never used one before, they can be a little bit intimidating and you might not know what to expect. But once you get used to them, they're a wonderful tool to help keep yourself clean. The simplest form of bidet essentially hooks up to your toilet via the regular water line that feeds your toilet and it hooks on the back and there's a little thing that comes down and sprays a stream of water up to get you clean. And that's pretty much it. You just need to have a little bit of grip strength and, con and manipulation control to um, turn the bidet on to start the stream of water and to adjust where the stream is going so you hit the right areas. My husband and I actually purchased a tushy bidet back in January of 2020, and we loved it. They've got great advertising. They show you how to use it, um, but those run around $70 to $80 for a base model. You can find one on Amazon, simple, just hooks up to a cold water line that feeds your toilet for around $30, $30 to $40. So if you have decreased reaching ability, trouble with one-sided weakness or manipulation issues, a bidet may be a really good option for you. All right, everyone, that's it for today. Subscribe to my channel if you wanna get more content like this, and please leave a like if you found this video helpful. I've got a link to each of the items in the description below, and I'm also leaving a link to my free ebook, The Stroke Recovery Pocket Guide, if you'd like a little more guidance on your recovery. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you next time.